guys, welcome back to the RC Store. My name's Ammo. Yes, guys, it's a new toy day. If you haven't already, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to smash that notification button, guys. We've got plenty of new content on its way. And as you can see, we're rolling into summer. New RCs are showing of all aspects on the channel, guys. Now, today we have got this our brand new Corali. Asuga. Now guys, you've probably seen, let me move this to a side a second. You guys have probably seen, we recently purchased a Co Rally Synchro 4. Now if you haven't seen that video guys, I'll put the latest Synchro 4 video just up here in the corner. Be sure to check that out. What a weapon that car is. We were so impressed with it being our first Co Rally that we've ever purchased and the first Co Rally on the channel I had to go out and buy another guys so i went out and bought its bigger brother the asuga just running through the box up very quickly guys um it says this has got a top speed of 65 plus mile an hour now there is a disclaimer you've got to have the correct gearing in order to achieve that but we're going to run this stock and we'll see what it achieves however this particular car comes with three diffs so you've got your front rear and central diff and this model was an RTR. You can get it as a roller, but this particular one is an RTR that runs on 6S. So a couple of highlights of the actual vehicle itself. It's got 16 mil big ball aluminum shock absorbers. It's got oversized HD composite suspension arms with aluminum anti tearings. So that would be interesting. It's got a heavy duty hybrid chassis brace system um, for the front rear and center. You've got oversized HD composite pillar balls, uh, steering hubs. You've got machined 8mm aluminium suspension arm holders. Guys, check out the diffs. So it's got CNC machined steel gears. And it's got strong wear resistant S2 hardened spring steel drive joints. And not forgetting the 5mm aluminium shock towers. This car is splash proof. It's available in three different colorways, guys. You've got the red, you've got the blue, and you've got the green. I believe we've got the blue to match our Synchro 4. There's some technical specs there for you guys if you want to know the length, width, and height of the vehicle, etc. And over here, it shows you what it comes with. So you've got your two-channel controller. Um, you've got your Coron 8254 pole. 2050 kv 4 to 6 s rated senseless brushless motor it says 3000 watt extreme power that should be incredible 150 amp torox 185 hv beck programmable esc and the servo that it's using for steering is a crhv 7225 which is a hv digital servo with a max torque of 25 kilos um it has got metal gears Let's see if that'll be good enough, I guess. One controller, one car. So guys, this is what you get in the box. You get a controller, which is in a separate box there. You get the car itself, which is protected with the two cardboard pieces along the side. And you get a pack here, a bit similar to the Synchro 4, but either way, we're gonna go through this and let's have a look. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna strip all the cardboard off, lay everything out on the desk, and then we'll go for everything. So guys, everything's unpacked from the desk. We're gonna go through the controller. So this is the CT2R, fantastic controller. The fact that the wheel's so close to your thumb, it makes it perfect. So if you're recording with one hand and you're controlling with the other, oh guys, this controller's nice. Um, so I'll go through the controller for those that you haven't seen the Asuga unboxing videos I'll go through the controller um, and show you what's what there's loads of new people that watch this content and watch this channel So I apologize to the people that have already seen this um, It is a car that's been out for about a year, but it's brand new to us in the channel So guys I'm gonna go through this. So you've got the CT2R controller over on the top here You've got your steering th trim throttle trim and your steering dual rates you got your um, throttle reverse and steering reverse at the top here. So steering reverse there, throttle reverse just there, if you do wish to change them. You also have uh, a nice foam grip on it, which is quite handy for when you're using thumb control. It grips quite well. 
and it doesn't slip as easy if it was just pure plastic. So that's pretty nice. Got a bit of a cover on top, which keeps the rain out if you're in obviously in rainy conditions. On the back here, you've actually got a charging point. So it takes four AA batteries guys at the back. However, the actual battery compartment can be replaced and you can put yourself a little LiPo in there, etc., um, which will do the job and you can charge it through that port if you wish. So that's the controller guys. In the instruction pack, you get some merch. So you get a nice little lanyard there. Does come with a keychain and um, the antenna um, stick that comes here, which is for your aerial. And you've also got a bind plug just there as well with a little prong on it for a reset. I'm guessing that's for the ESC. You do get the CT2R uh, manual, which is a nice touch because it's separate from the actual manual itself. So if you want to know some something about the transmitter or something's not going right or you want to know some settings everything's in there explained nicely the user manual just there it is a quick start guide just showing you how to set up the car and how to start it up if you're a newbie a lot of you people out there buying an Asuga won't be a newbie I'm guessing but there's some people out there that want to go um, and buy something top end so they don't have to buy twice everyone's different one thing I do like is this chart here this chart tells you what each pinion gear would give you as an output whether you're getting higher top speed more torque etc there's a little chart there guys and that will give you all the answers you need which is quite handy especially if you're changing terrain and you want to go on arguments into a speed run and you're trying to achieve a certain figure you can have a look at this and say right I need an 18 tooth pinion and running it on 6S, I can hit 89 mile an hour. What? 89 mile an hour? That's impressive, guys. We're going to have to try that. 18 tooth pinion, 89 mile an hour on 6S. That's just made my day. <laughs> right. What else does it come in here? Right. We've got exploded diagrams. So, which of these are quite detailed to be fair. If you want to know how to rebuild your diffs, etc., that's all in there as well. So it shows you all the chassis, exploded diagram of the chassis itself as well. And then everything is located with part numbers. You can research the part numbers over on the back and it's got pictures, etc., of the item. If you've broken something, you can jump onto Co Rally's website and you can purchase them directly from them if you wish. You've also got the Torox 185 ESC manual. It shows you how to um, connect it, recalibrate it. It'll also show you all the functions that it's got on there as well, which I'll show you guys just there as well, which is quite handy to have, especially if you're someone like us that likes to tinker around and modify the cars or change pinion gears or you want more punch etc it's great to have that handy right what you guys have all been waiting for the asuga what a car guys i've just taken the plastic film off and this thing looks epic the color is so striking i tell you one thing videos do not do justice to the color and that's for sure and i said the same thing on the synchro 4 now we went for a blue colorway and the reason for that was to match the Synchro 4. Just I just thought we've got loads of different colors and if I've got the opportunity of uniforming them, why not, eh? So that's what we've done. Going through the car, my first impressions and looks at this, guys, is quite impressive. Um, it's slightly longer than a normal 1.8 buggy, that's for sure. I'm not sure about the width, but it's definitely longer. And that's for sure and um, in terms of the shocks they feel really good yeah they feel nice they're completely adjustable as well the tires feel hard and that's my honest opinion they do feel a bit hard i'm not going to knock them out though because the synchro 4 tires felt hard and grippy exactly like this however they hooked up so well on that gravel and um, guys i was so impressed with them and if these hook up anything like them, yes, they're on a winner here already. You've got your 17mm hexes, as you can see. Um, what I'll do, guys, 
I'll um, pull the camera in as well, just to show you guys in a bit more detail. So just going through the car itself in a bit more detail, you can see the shell looks absolutely fantastic, guys. I love these little aero blades that they've got here on your upper arm, and that helps the downforce on the arms. If you have a look here, look at them shocks, guys. Absolutely fantastic. One bit of concern just here for me is there's no real protection over your bulkhead here. Um, the only bit you got is the top of the shocks. Normally, if this was raised slightly higher, it would protect them. But they're there or thereabouts the same height. So that may be an issue if you take a harsh landing on a harsh surface like tarmac or on gravel. However, we won't know until we try it. Looking over here, you've got metal hinge pin covers. As you can see, you've got your anti-roll bar sitting there nicely. Nice front bumper. Oh, guys, I'm looking so forward to getting into this and taking it out for its first run. You've got a rear anti-roll bar. You can see just there. You can see the connection on the grub screw there. And the rear is pretty much the same in terms of shock towers. You've got a nice spoiler. You have got this nice spoiler mount here, which helps hell of a lot. On other RCs that we've had, these normally rip off. Because um, you've got this nice spacer at the top, it does help prevent it ripping off, which is great. Another real cool touch, guys, is this plastic trim around here. Now that protects the shell from ripping, or if you land awkwardly where the shell's going to rip off, it actually protects it, and you've got that over across at the front as well, just there. Um, that's absolutely fantastic. Looking underneath the car, guys, you've got a metal chassis just sitting there. Oh, yes, and look at that. Push your limits. That's something we're going to do with this as well. I love the way that they've got these anodized washers. They look pretty cool. You've got heavy-duty arms on there, as you can see. Pillar balls in there, which is amazing. One thing other I will point out, you've got CVDs up front. And over on the rear, you have got dog bones, oversized rear arms as well. Just taking a look at the back end of here, you've got a nice spoiler mount and support as well. So guys, you can see the braces running across the center. They look absolutely fantastic. I'm guessing these are going to hold up quite well. You can also see all the copper parts. Now these guys, the outputs, they are upgraded in comparison to the Synchro 4. You can put these on the Synchro 4, I believe, as upgraded parts. Um, most majority of the parts are interchangeable with Co Rally. You got your 25 kilo servo. We need to test how that's going to hold up. You got your Torox ESC sitting there, your Coron 825. And the way they've mounted this is incredible. I think the design on the way this is mounted compared to the Synchro 4 is a lot better. Two screws up there. This dust cover comes off and you can mess around with your pinion gears where on the Synchro 4, you've got to take all the center out to adjust your uh, pinion gears. Batteries, they have to be, if you're running two 3S batteries, guys, you're going to have to stack them on one side there. Um, if you're running one 6S, then that's not a problem. It comes with a loop jumper cable already there on XT90 connectors. Um, however, if you're running two packs, you're going to have to stack the two batteries on top of each other on one side. Now, the sides are composite on each side. Um, and then you've got the center is a metal chassis. You've got some capacitors there, which is great for the ESC. Looking over to the rear diff, as you can see, and this is probably actually a better view, to be fair, because you can actually see the rear dog bones. And over the front, you can see the CVDs. You've got the prop shaft running through the center. However, this was a little bit concerning for myself, uh, but I've not seen anyone have any issues with this yet. So um, I will just put it out there, try and focus in for you guys. So the rear prop shaft really close to that cup, as you can see. Um, I don't know if that's going to be an issue. However, I've not heard of it being an issue, so hopefully it's all good. Um, I would have probably preferred a CVD in there rather than a dog bone. However, if it does the job and it does it well, why change it? Guys, I had to do it. I had to pull the Synchro 4 down off the shelf and place it next to this just to show you guys the size difference on the Asuga. 
Now, when you look at them and you put them next to each other, the wheelbase ain't that far off. If you have a look, it's, I'd say, about an inch or so off the hubs on either side. Um, you can see the Synchro 4 sits a lot lower. So this handles fantastic. I'm just hoping this handles as well as that. Um, obviously, the wheels and tyres are oversized compared to this. But overall, they look like a very, very similar design, guys. Which is um, wicked. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys them side by side right next to each other. As you can see. And the colorways are the same, which I'm quite happy about. Love the suspension on this. How it just droops down. This one seems a bit stiffer. Obviously, it's a lot heavier of a vehicle. Uh, but suspension's really nice on these guys. And I said it on the Synchro 4, it was really nice. On the Asuga, it's fantastic as well. But yeah, I thought I'd um, pull them both down just to show you guys. So there you have it, guys. Our brand new Corali Asuga XLR. Guys, if you've enjoyed this unboxing video, feel free to like, share and subscribe. Don't forget to smash that notification button and don't miss the next video where we're going to be taking this out and testing it and we'll probably put it on a track to see how it gets on. Thank you for watching. We see you in the next one.